Hey, what's up YouTube? Back here with another video. I got the single speed in the basement and um, I'm doing a fork upgrade, if you want to call it a fork upgrade. I got this fork from FNR Cycle. It's a US, US company and um, I'm kind of getting, I'm going to try and get away from this sort of vintage raked out fork. You'll see, let me open it up real quick. The geometry of this fork, you see, it's a lot more kind of, mo what a modern gravel bike, it would be more that type of geometry. I'm not an expert on this, to be honest with you. It's more aesthetics. I signed up for a gravel race with this thing in the single speed category. So I, I didn't really want to show up with this old school look. I don't know. It just looks cooler to me anyways. And um, it's going to look nice, the chrome with maybe with the chrome brakes. And um, yeah, let's get right into the video. I think the crux of the project is just going to be cutting this fork down to the right size. And... Unfortunately, I'm renovating my garage, so I do not have my vice set up and all that sort of thing. So I'm going to have to MacGyver away to make a straight cut with this fork. But other than that, yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay, so just for a quick comparison, this is the old school, um, kind of raked out. This is a, a lugged fork. I'd call it a lugged fork versus a unicrown design. See that? So you can tell, um, so I can get this, how much of a difference there is between these two forks. So yeah, the crux, like I said now, is I've marked it right there. I got to cut this thing. I don't have a vise. There's also a tool, I'll throw a photo up here of the tool you'd use to actually cut a steer tube, but I don't have that. I'm just going to go for it. Hopefully I don't wreck this fork and um, yeah, I'll check back in a minute. Okay guys, so this is kind of what I jimmy rigged up. I actually, it's got some masking tape around it. It's hard to get it here, but I've built it up fairly thick and then I have this one spacer that I'm going to slide on. See that and I kind of jam it down there tight and I'm going to use that as my kind of cutting guide. I'm just going to take my time and um, hopefully, yeah, I, I think this is going to work. So yeah, I'll check back in a minute. So there's the rough cut before I clean it up at all. I'm actually pretty stoked about this. I think this is gonna work perfect. <laughs> 